10 habits you should break before you turn 30. Let's face it, majority of us use our 20s to figure out a whole lot of stuff from who we are, what we want and what we want to do. Also, it's a time where we try to build our careers, relationships in order to make the best of them. We spend so much time trying to make these discoveries that we hardly pay attention to some habits that could be responsible for holding us back from enjoying the best of our relationships, careers, health and the likes. Now, we are fast approaching 30. It's time to look into areas of our lives we might want to tweak a bit or let go of completely. In this video, we'll be sharing with you 10 habits you should break before you turn 30. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Number 1. Not saving money Learning how to save some of your money rather than spending your whole paycheck from as early as your 20s when you are without family responsibilities is the best time to improve on your savings habit even if it means starting really small. As a matter of fact, expert advises us to aim to save 10 to 15% of your paycheck in your 20s and in your 30s, try to put 15 to 25% in your savings account. Number 2. Not paying attention to your body Unlike when you were much younger, where we were allowed to take anything whatsoever we wanted, like overindulging in junks, alcohol, countless sleepless nights of partying, you may not want to do that anymore to your body because your body can no longer bounce back easily as it used to. Now is the time to start focusing on taking proper care of your skin and vitalizing it with the necessary nutrient needed to keep it healthy. You really don't want to look way older than your age simply because you're approaching 30. Also, do not forget to stay hydrated regularly. Number 3. Comparing yourself to people on social media We all have different goals in life and so, we all journey differently. Basing your self-worth or your value on certain standards which other people with different priorities and goals than yours are doing is a completely unfair way to treat yourself. This is not to say you shouldn't support your friends or get jealous of them when they are excelling, especially on social media. Just do not get carried away, allowing your self-esteem to be tampered with along the way. You've got different life goals and aspirations. More so, most things you see on social media are not real and they are mostly photoshopped. Number 4. Forgetting to keep in touch with family members Our family members, the older ones particularly, deserve to be prioritized and treated with love. Although this might seem like a really stressful and demanding thing to do, especially when we consider our very busy schedule, we just want to postpone that call and get to work as quick as we can. Unfortunately, we often forget to place that call eventually and the cycle continues. Putting yourself in the shoes of your family members, how will it make you feel to be left alone? Bad, I suppose. Besides, apart from what they stand to gain, the feeling of love and care, chances are you have so much to learn from them because they are older and wiser. You will also feel better after the conversation. Number 5. Never exercise it. You see, relying on certain herbs and teas to raise your metabolism or to keep you fit is a wrong approach to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Exercising makes us strong, healthy and it also helps you to live longer. Moreover, a good number of us are working sedentary jobs these days and to add to that, our bodies get weaker as we age. Hence the need to counteract the effect of those, recover and stay fit by regularly exercising. Now that you are moving closer to your 30s, don't think you can be healthy forever if you don't take care of your body. Number 6. Constantly showing up late for meetings be it a casual meeting or a corporate one, with friends or with professionals, constantly showing up late is never a good representation of oneself. Granted, there are real and good enough reasons for your lack of punctuality but it's high time you figured what those reasons are and work on not being late. 
The sooner you get it sorted out, the less stressful your life will become. Number 7. Constantly dwelling on your past By now, you should realize that mistakes are a part of life and we all make mistakes at different points in our life. However, your mistakes are there to teach you important life lessons and to help you grow, not to make you feel bad about yourself and drown in self-pity, blame or any of such. Understand that the only way to change your past is to fix or change your attitude towards it. So, rather than wallowing in depressing thoughts about your past mistakes, if it helps, take comfort in the fact that those lessons learned from the mistakes helped shape your life into what it is and that you are now better than to make a similar mistake or mistakes in the near future. Number 8. Feeling guilty for not being where you want to Even though it is great to envision where you want to be at a certain point in your life, setting specific plans with timelines might not be the best. Life is pretty much unpredictable, which means anything can happen at any point in time. So, rather than spending your time beating yourself up and feeling guilty that you are not where you thought you should be by this age, think about the goals you set for your life. Perhaps you may need to do a quick review and then move forward. Who says you can't achieve anything great at any age? Number 9. Living for the Weekend You know that feeling of happiness you experience on a Friday evening after working hours and the feeling of tiredness leading to endless wishes about your job that you get when you wake up on a Monday morning to prepare for work? That's the living for the weekend lifestyle we are referring to here. The best way to avoid feeling that way is to choose the career you're truly passionate about or incorporate fun activities into your weekday evenings. You can try socializing with friends or you can even try signing for a book club. Whatever activity you choose, be sure it's something that brings out the fun part of you. Number 10. Being too afraid to ask for a raise at work Ask and it may be given. Asking for a raise that you truly deserve shouldn't be something too difficult for you to do as long as you have been working hard enough to prove your worth. Learn to ask for what you deserve. In summary, when we approach 30, our approach to life should change because we are no longer babies and life is preparing to demand more and more from us. So we really have to check ourselves and be sure we have right habits and mindset that can help us succeed in life. Thank you for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe.